News Channel 3, live at 5. The 4th of July holiday weekend coming to a close tonight with people heading home from their long weekends. News Channel 3's Taban Sharifi has more on the travel, the fireworks and local reaction to some new events. Taban, out by the freeway, how's it going? Out by the freeway right now, we're standing on Bob Hope, the I-10 West just behind us. You can see traffic not super backed up here, but as you do drive closer to Whitewater and beyond, you are seeing a lot more of that traffic for people getting out of the Coachella Valley. And California Highway Patrol is also continuing its maximum enforcement period through 9.59 p.m. tonight. That means they're looking for anyone speeding or posing a danger to other drivers. From travel to large events and fireworks, the 4th of July holiday weekend is a big one. It's also one where law enforcement and the fire department are on high alert. In Cathedral City, 113 calls came in related to fireworks being set off. Four arrests were made and over 60 pounds of illegal fireworks were confiscated. Illegal fireworks also caused fires in the area. Officials with the Indio Police Department urging people to continue to call the police if they see or hear firework activity. This is the first time that we've done this. Normally we do a firework show, but this year we were asked to do something a little bit different um, that is a little bit more pet friendly and veteran friendly. Food, games, activities and a laser show at Ruth Hardy Park brought mixed reactions from residents. As soon as the lasers came on, so many people left. We just kept seeing just groups of people leaving. Genesis Huerta and her family enjoyed the festivities, but were disappointed by the laser show. feel like if they were to do it in a place where there's no um, objects such as trees and for it to be blocked, I feel like they could do it better and bigger. Cody Down said he caught a glimpse of the Palm Springs lasers from Yucca Valley. He likes fireworks, but with annual fire danger, he thinks the lasers are an adequate substitute. Many just glad to safely be enjoying festivities together again. It's not only, you know, our annual celebration of independence for the nation, but it's almost like an independence from the pandemic as well. And as the 4th of July holiday weekend comes to an end and people still remain on the roads, CHP is urging drivers to obey the speed limits, uh, stay sober, avoid distractions, and practice patience while driving. Live in Thousand Palms, Taban Sharifi, News Channel 3. Thank you, Taban.